Let's look at this uh, kinetic problem here. Uh, we have two equivalents of HBr reacting to form one equivalent of hydrogen and one equivalent of bromine, and uh, they are all gases. And the problem asks us to write the rate of reaction for each reactant and product. Now what you'll need to remember are that reactants uh, decrease in concentration or go away. So uh, we'll put a little minus here to remind ourselves that. And products appear or form or increase in concentration. So we'll put a little plus um, on this side of the equation. All right. So um, the rate is obviously um, simply related to the change in concentration over time. But we're going to use the sine and the coefficient here for each of the, the terms. So let's get started. The rate is equal to, um, if we're talking about HBr, um, negative or minus the concentration of HBr over a change in time, right? But wait, we have a coefficient of 2 here, so we divide that by 2 times the change in time. Okay, or it's equal to the positive change in concentration of hydrogen over the change in time. The coefficient is just one here, so we don't need to use that. Or that's equal to the positive change in concentration of bromine over uh, the change in time. Again, the coefficient is just one, so we don't need to say one times the change in time. Okay. So that's how you do uh, part A. Now part A, uh, part B builds on that. It says the uh, HBr concentration dropped from 0 0.500 molar to 0 0.455 molar in 15.0 seconds. What is the average rate? So we just use our equation here that we've uh, created, plug in the values. So the rate of the reaction, or the average rate, is equal to minus, okay? And uh, what do we plug in here? Well, for the time, we plug in 15 seconds. So that goes in the denominator here. Two times 15.0 seconds. Okay, don't forget to use the two that we've created earlier. Again, that comes from the coefficient of two. And what about on the top? Well, the change is always final minus initial. That's the thing that you need to remember for all chemistry equations. So the final concentration is actually 0.455 molar. And the initial concentration is 0 0.5. Now I realize when you take a smaller number and you subtract a larger number, you'll have a negative number. But that's what the purpose of this minus sign is to make sure that the reaction rate's always positive. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab a calculator and plug that in, see what we get. 0 0.455, 0 0.5, divided by two, divided by 15. Okay, so, or just divided by 30. So uh, what you get from this is a positive 0 0.0015 appearing on the calculator. Uh, this has uh, three significant figures for each of the data here. So we need to add a zero here to maintain that precision. And the units are molarity per second. So that's how you do uh, part B there. Okay. Now, part C goes a bit further. It says if the volume is 0 0.500 liters, how many moles of bromine is formed in part B? Okay, so volume, wh where is that coming from? Well, what you need to remember is that molarity is moles per liter. So to do this, you can um, just use stoichiometry. That's one way of doing it. And so let's take a look here. Let's go ahead and calculate how many moles we have for each of these two quantities of HBr. So initially, we have uh, 0 0.500 m, right? 
That's the same thing as saying 0 0.500 moles of HBr per one liter. And the part C says we have half a liter. So we can just uh, multiply the 0.5 by 0.5 and get um, 0 0.25 moles of HBr. Okay, that's initially. Now after the 15 seconds, let's go ahead and calculate uh, what our final moles of HBr. So we have 0 0.455 moles of HBr per liter. The reaction chamber is still 0.5 liters. So we can multiply those out on our calculator and we have a value of 0 0.2275 moles of HBr. We'll round this off here at the end. Okay, so if I started with this amount and I ended up with this amount, I can just subtract these two to find out um, how many moles of HBr have reacted. So I'll just kind of do that here. And I get a quantity of 0 0.0225 moles of HBr that react. All right. Now what I'm going to do is use this value here to convert to moles of bromine. So we know probably how to convert moles of HBr to moles of bromine just using the coefficients. Okay, so we're not going to use any of these rate equations um, or, or rate expressions up above. So to convert 0 0.0225 moles of HBr, to moles of bromine, we know that uh, one mole of bromine formed from two moles of HBr. So we're basically dividing that number by two. That gives me 0 0.0113 after rounding to three sig figs here, okay? So that's how you do uh, part C. Thank you for watching.